What I admire most about Dai is that I think she's a survivor. Regardless of the circumstances, she adapts to her environment and, um, you know, she keeps that faith and love and, and believing that there's hope in the uh, um, hopeless, if I may say. Diane Bennett are off and on. I think she's hormonal, he's stressed out, you know, and, you know, I think that that's, it's real because if they weren't in prison, I think they would be going through the same thing where they're getting to know each other, you know, she became pregnant really quick, you know, it's not like they dated before any of this happened, you know, it was like love at first sight. And so you will see, you will see the layers of, you know, a relationship, like the bumps on the road and how things cannot be so smooth and it, it becomes really realistic in season two. The Diane Bennett scenes are, are so, they're so full of um, passion and like a sense of like, she can escape from her reality. And I think that that as, as being Daya, it's a sense of, you know, a point where you, you're living your, your dream kind of, you know, you find somebody you love, you're, even though you're in prison, there's somebody that's, that's unobtainable and, and regardless of how you look, you're, you're having this relationship with somebody and it's real. There's no such thing as a normal mother and daughter relationship. So, you know, th the beauty of it that it's very real, and I'm pretty sure that in America and, and worldwide there are relationships that do exist of this nature. I'm not sure if they end up in jail, but the fact that, you know, there's no normal sense of relationships. And, and even in this situation, Dahlia is still kind of loyal to her mother in the sense and still able to look onto her mother for like that security because that's all she knows. And I think that it's very key um, to attract the audience because it's, you know, it, it allows the audience to say, I know somebody like that. I can relate to somebody. It might not be my mother, but it could be my brother. So, so it's very realistic in that sense. It benefits because you have diversity in the cast. You have real stories and I think that you know, when the audience finds something that they can relate to, they want to be in control of it as well. And, and the fact that they can watch it at their own leisure, I mean, you know, that's one of the things that I constantly hear is that I love the fact that I can just sit down on Saturday on my time and watch as many episodes as I, as I want. I can rewatch the season as I want. So it allows control from both ends. Season one was, you know, rolling up the, the hill in the, roller, uh, in the roller coaster and then suddenly, you know, season two is like, okay, we're going down that hill. And like, you see a lot of puppet masters and Clash of Titans and, you know, alliances with, with you know, uh, um, prisoners that you wouldn't expect. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of intense revenge. There's, you know, there's a lot of unexpected things again occurring in season two.